Hey guys, Mars here with the review of the Badger airbrushes. The ones that I have in my hand right now or in front of me are the Badger 105, Patriot 105, and the Renegade Chrome. Thank you for my sponsors, Badger, Ken from Badger Airbrush. These are awesome, awesome airbrushes. Since I've never had any experience in airbrushing before, I'm actually just going to use them to compare uh instead of you know comparing it with other brands and stuff uh, let's start off with the patriot actually the this one is the cheaper model right now i think they run about a hundred dollars or something like that but if you use the coupon code consortium at webairbrushes.com you can get it for 40 percent off so it's a lot cheaper that way and if you know if the shipping takes a little bit longer just email the customer service but let's start off with the review this if i ha i can put it in one perfect you know short sentence this is the workhorse this is my main airbrush even though yes this is great this is like it, i can go with more details with the renegade chrome the patriot is actually my main airbrush because i use this for base coating a lot uh, I haven't used my sprays at all ever since I got this. I use it to paint larger areas, you know, base coating, priming. I use this a lot. Uh, there's a lot of different things that you can do with this. If you're not familiar with an airbrush, this is the anatomy of an airbrush. Basically, you can twist this apart and that and pull it out. Oh, I need to clean this. This is your needle. And the Patriot 105 airbrush has a, a medium sized needle. Um, this is a 0.35 millimeter opening right here. And this is a static cup. You can't move it anywhere else. I forgot how many milliliters is actually, you know, holds, but I never even have to fill it up halfway. It basically, you only need like 10 drops to base coat probably about two to three models. So it, it depends on how how big the opening is you can also open this compartment over here where you can see all the other goodies take that off you make you got to make sure that you clean it i just painted some stuff last night so i'm gonna clean it today some parts are a little hard to open which is okay but this is the patriot 105 this is the anatomy of it i can always open this part to take apart this area right here but when you push it and you pull it you know, there's a lot of other tutorials on airbrush that I'm not even going to mention because, you know, there's way too many of them. And you can always just look at their tutorials because I'm just doing a review now. One thing I like about the Patriot 105 is the weight. The Chrome is slightly a little slightly heavier than the Patriot 105. I don't know if different batches has different pull I mean, depending on the, the spring in there, but I feel more comfortable with the Patriot 105, I haven't had any, you know, my hand hasn't cramped up or hurting. I paint with an airbrush probably about an hour or two every day. I have, seriously, I have no problem with the 105. And if it's like $50, I, after the discount, I don't mind getting it over and over. I have two of them. One of them I won from SoCal Smackdown, but I, I don't want to use that one because that's my prize, basically. That is my trophy and I'm not going to open it again. But this one seems to be really, really good. I mean, yeah, when I get too close into a model, of course, I'm going to spider out depending on how much of the pressure. But this is an awesome, awesome uh, airbrush that I use a lot of times. Most of my models are now airbrush. I mean, not airbrush, uh, primed or base coated with the Patriot 105. I've also heard about a, a conversion for this to make it into a bigger size because this is the fine. You can go with the medium size. I think it's the 0.5 millimeter, so it's slightly larger. You can use even, even like for base coating, that's even better. It makes, you know, you make less less passes when you spray it. And now let's go with the Renegade Chrome from Badger. Uh, they have a smaller tip. This is a 0.21 tip. Obviously, you want to get a little bit closer, you know, so you can do muscle tones and um, a little bit more details instead of the Badger 105. A couple of other things that I noticed that is very, very different. One is this plastic piece right here. It actually gives me a better grip than the 105. It is slightly heavier. So I think the grip is needed here. Also, it has an adjustable lever right here where you can just twist it. So 
you don't pull too far. So that's a good addition. Like if the Badger 105 had this, it would have been very, very awesome. Another thing that I noticed that since the needle is a little bit thinner than the 105, it has a guard over here. So, you know, just in case you drop it or something, it's not going to hit the needle first. It's going to hit the guard first. Then, you know, I think the, the guard is a little bit cheaper than the needle. So if you have to replace it, you can always do that. The cup size is the same size as the Patriot. Spring quality and everything is the same. Uh, both of my airbrushes came with the these quick quick plugs. I, I don't I forgot what the name for it, <laughs> but basically I can always just you know plug it in like that. Uh, the Chrome is actually around hundred fifty dollars I think, but if you use that coupon code again consortium forty percent off. You're going to get it roughly around 80 to 90 dollars which is not a bad deal at all for something this awesome uh, i use this predominantly for going close like muscle tones like for example like over there you can always hit it with this don't get too close because you're gonna spider out well it depends on your um, pressure as well but so far i have no other airbrush to compare to like other brand these are the only th uh, ones that I had, and I got to compare the two. My pick would be the Badger 105, uh, the Patriot 105, because I use it a little bit more than the Chrome. But when I do use the Chrome, it works brilliant. Um, I do use it for details, and while the Chrome, I mean, while the uh, Patriot, Patriot 105, I use it predominantly on base coating, priming, and then going to larger details, while this one, I'm going into smaller details. I mean, if you only have enough budget to actually get one airbrush, I would recommend the Patriot 105. I have no complaint about the 105 at all. While the Chrome, my only complaint is basically the, the weight of it. And it's if you hold both of them, both of them in the same, uh, even if they, they, they are not as heavy, I mean, if they're both have the same weight, I feel like the Chrome is heavier. And when you're holding the chrome, it feels more expensive. So, you know, it's over time, you'll feel the weight. But if you're, you know, only base coating like every five minutes or so, you're not going to feel it. But over time, after like an hour or so, you're going to feel it. That's why I think this plastic piece is good. But this is my review on the uh, Badger airbrushes, in particular, the Renegade Chrome and the Patriot 105. And thank you again for my sponsors. And I appreciate the time for you guys that you guys took to actually watch my uh, airbrush reviews this is mars talk to you later